Lilium's collapse makes us ask, what went wrong for a company that seemed destined to lead the air taxi revolution? Today, we'll look at the rise and fall of Lilium, exploring the problems that led to its insolvency and what this means for the air taxi industry. What can we learn from this story? Welcome to the channel. Lilium was once a shining star in the air taxi world, but things took a serious turn when it filed for insolvency in Germany. This financial mess led to its shares getting kicked off the Nasdaq Stock Exchange on November 6, 2024. The company's stock price plummeted from $0.54 to a record low of $0.096, showing just how tough things had gotten. Hopes for a 100 million euro lifeline from the government faded when the German federal government didn't match Bavaria's 50 million euro loan guarantee. With just 32 million euros from private investors, Lilium struggled to tackle its growing problems. The air taxi industry has seen huge investments since 2019, with EV toll or electric vertical takeoff and landing companies raising a whopping $13 billion. But for Lilium, the cash burn was relentless. While they raised billions, it wasn't enough. EV toll makers pulled in $2.3 billion in 2024, which is a big drop from the peak of $4.3 billion in 2021. Competitors like Joby Aviation burned through $863.3 million between 2021 and 2023, and Lilium faced similar struggles with its dual model of making and operating aircraft. The air taxi industry has been slowed down by changing regulations, especially in the US and Europe. Companies like Archer Aviation and Joby initially thought they'd be flying commercially by 2024, but now it looks like that won't happen until 2026 or later. Lilium, like many others, got stuck navigating the tricky certification process, which demands a lot of money and technical know-how. Lilium's competitors are in a stronger position to handle the challenges. Joby Aviation had $710 million in cash at the end of Q3 2023 and brought in an extra $222 million in equity, plus a $500 million commitment from Toyota. Archer Aviation, with over $500 million in cash, feels good about its financial situation. EVE Holdings, supported by Brazil's National Development Bank, raised $236 million in equity and debt, giving it stability for a few more years. Vertical Aerospace managed to extend its cash runway until late 2024 by turning $130 million of debt into equity. With delays in regulations in the West, companies are setting their sights on the Middle East for new opportunities. Archer plans to kick off commercial flights in the UAE by late 2025, while Joby aims for Dubai by 2026. Analysts think that Middle Eastern regulators, eager to attract new technology, might speed up the certification process. Plus, building infrastructure is easier in the region, which means these companies could start operating sooner than they could in Europe or the US. At the beginning of the decade, Lilium and other EV toll companies jumped on the SPAC, special purpose acquisition company Trend, going public with huge valuations even though they didn't have a working product. Lilium, for instance, relied on all the excitement around the idea but things went south when the reality of needing a lot of cash for development, certification, and operations set in. Now, predictions for profitability have been pushed back for the whole industry. The air taxi industry has a tough road ahead. Companies are burning through about $1 billion a year as they rush to get certified, ramp up production, and become profitable. Analysts suggest that switching to production-only models could help cut down on cash burn. Improvements in battery tech and infrastructure are also super important to make EV tolls competitive with luxury taxis. Even with some doubts, analysts at Needham see a $3 billion global market for early-stage air taxis, giving some hope to the companies that are still in the game. Lilium's collapse has raised worries about Germany's place in the global tech scene. More than 650 tech leaders came together to support Lilium asking the government to approve a 50 million euro loan guarantee to show Germany's commitment to deep tech innovation. Critics say that not acting on this hurts Germany's chances of leading in technologies like EV tolls. Lilium's fall indicates a shakeup in the industry. Weaker companies are struggling, leaving the stronger ones to fight for survival. It looks like we might see some mergers and partnerships as companies try to stay afloat. Once they get certified, they'll need to ramp up production and cut costs to make air taxis work. 
For now, the dream of changing urban transport is still on hold, with profits still a few years away. What do you think? Can Lilium recover from its collapse? Or is it the end of the road for the company? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our related video titled EV Toll Pilot Training. Are we ready for the next generation of aviation? Join us as we explore what it takes to train pilots for the future of air travel.